Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Android Community and we have an awesome new smartphone to show you. Obviously right there on the box, light it up and share the Samsung Galaxy Beam. Um, they've announced one before, a couple years ago. This is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Beam, available now. Awesome little, uh, pretty powerful smartphone with an awesome built-in Pico projector. It's actually kind of a lot of fun. I'm going to slightly unbox it for you show you the uh, added benefits of what comes in the box and then move on to actually uh, a quick demonstration for you but for now we'll quickly go through what's in the box the phone does have two batteries because obviously you have a Pico projector and you might run through some battery you know watching movies and doing presentations on the wall so they've nicely provided in the box a standby additional charger to charge an additional battery and it actually comes with two two batteries so there it is there's the USB for charging as usual. And then in the box there you can see the additional battery, headphones, and then the charger. This is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So plenty of battery life and it comes with two. Again, there's one in the box, one in the phone. So you can finish your presentation and then pull it out and put in the new one and you are good to go for all day. Um, I, it does work for like a little over three hours of just continuous, um, con continuous projecting so it actually get some pretty impressive battery life but real quickly here we're going to show you the phone so you can see what we're working with with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Beam here it is it's new and improved decent little smartphone cool yellow color and as you can see that hump for the projector but it's new and improved got a dual core processor 4 inch display Android 2.3 gingerbread and again that projector I've actually been having a lot of fun with it it's already turned on here I've been kind of stream Olympics on the wall just for fun but we have a sim card slot which works on T-Mobile with HSPA Plus but it is available internationally the volume rocker 3.5 headphone jack around top that gnarly projector I'm not gonna get my fingerprints all over it and here is a dedicated projector button the power awake and a micro SD slot for expanded storage then on the bottom here is the port for charging we got the speaker grill on the bottom, 5 megapixel LED or camera with an LED flash and a VGA front for a little video chat but you're going to be doing a lot of uh, projecting more than chatting but if you have uh, the need this does just about all of it it's pretty sleek still about 12 millimeters, 12.5 millimeters and packing a decent phone and a good projector all in that slim package is, is pretty impressive if you ask me so what we have here is actually a Novathor dual core 1.0 gigahertz processor 1 gig of RAM 8 gigabytes of internal storage and Android 2.3 gingerbread. I'm not going to show you too much so we'll maybe just turn on the phone here and let you see the standard Android that we all know and love with Samsung's TouchWiz changes to the drop down and the notifications and and everything else. Then you have your application tray. It's all pretty standard. The all share Samsung chat on and a bunch of Samsung apps. The main difference here with the Galaxy Beam is a DLP projector and the DLP projector app kind of helps out a little bit and then their music Samsung apps and their social hub but that's basically Samsung that we already know with Android so here is the DLP projector app have plenty of screenshots but we got focus and rotation so you can change the rotation focus when you don't have the best view and then quick pad for drawing on the screen it'll also project on the wall for you know presentations and then visual presenter ambience mode with visual it's actually like that top-down look where you set the phone up and it uses the camera on the bottom and will project what it's showing, you know, what's on the camera on the wall. So it works like a real projector if you, you need that, you know, use case scenario, torch, a couple other things. But it's really quick and easy. You simply just push and hold and projector on. And there it is. The projector is on and beaming. And uh, it'll last for a little over, th well over three hours actually. And then as you can see on screen there, we have the autofocus, adjust focus, the rotate, and then the quick pad. So as it's streaming, you can go to quick pad and draw all over the screen. And that will be projecting on the wall, projecting on, you know, whatever you're drawing or, you know, your presentation for a website or multiple things here. But go ahead and back out of that. And the projector is still going. So you just simply push and hold and the projector is off. It's that quick. It turns off and on extremely fast. You just push and hold and it's on push and hold and it's off so it's actually a pretty impressive phone I've been enjoying it but stay tuned don't go anywhere because I'm going to check it out and give you a demonstration in a little bit darker environment